What's up everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video today, I will be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can use Zoom. Now, Zoom is a money transfer service it's from PayPal that you can use to send money worldwide. And here's one of the cool things. Zoom is one of the cheapest ways to send money worldwide when you compare it to its competitors, right? You can send money directly to a bank account, to a pickup location, or even to a debit card, which is instant. So once that card is linked to your bank account, which it has to, you will receive that money instantly. So that's, so that's one of the great benefits of using Zoom. So with that said, let's head over to my laptop and get started. So guys, to get started with Zoom, head over to zoom.com, the link will be in the description of this video. Now once you're there, you can just select sign up, right? Or from this drop down here, you can select the country that you want to send money to. So I'm just going to select sign up for you to see the options that are available. So if you already have a PayPal account like I do, you can select login with PayPal. It's going to ask you for your PayPal email address and password. If you don't have a PayPal account, then you can select login with zoom when you select login with zoom you're going to specify your email address go to next and specify the other information however i already have an account so i'm just going to step back and log in with paypal so with zoom you have the option to send money and reload mobile phones right and you also have the option to pay bills so if you select pay bills see a list of countries that you can use zoom to pay bills in so if you're going to send money with zoom from the drop down list select the country that you want to send the money to so in my case i'm a jamaican so i'm going to say jamaica here you're going to specify the amount that you want to send the minimum amount is about 15 canadian dollars right so once you specify the amount that you want to send it gives you an estimate the recipient will receive now once you specify that then you will select next. Now depending on which country you are sending money to, now depending on which country you are sending money to, you have the option to send money directly to a Visa debit card. With this option, the money will be available instantly. So in my case, I have two options. I can do a bank deposit or a cash pickup. So if I select cash pickup and select next, then you will see the options that cash pickups are available, right? However, why send to a pickup location when you can do a bank deposit? So we're going to select bank deposit and then select next. Well, I mean, if they do not have a bank account, then cash deposit is fine. Now from the drop down list, you're going to search for your bank. So in my case, I'm going to just say National Commercial Bank. Here you're going to specify the name of the branch. So I specified New Kingston, but that is not the actual branch. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to use the code finder, right? So I'm going to select my country, select the parish. I'm going to say Kingston and St. Andrew. And then from that, I'm going to look for Knoxford Boulevard. Then here, I'm just going to select next. So the actual branch name is Knoxford Boulevard. And then here, I need to specify my account number. So this is just a made up number. I'm just taking it through the process of how you can use zoom to send money right then you're going to select check-in or saving now most of us when we were opening our account we opted for a savings account right so let's select next now here you're going to add the recipient information you're going to specify their first name last name trn and their address right so I'm just going to fill in this with some random information so it's one two three all right that looks like a trn so I'm going to select next here. So once you specify the recipient information, you're going to add the payment method. Are you going to pay from a bank account, a debit or credit card? Please note that the fees is the same for all of them. So once you select your payment method, then you select next. Here, I'll just need to provide my payment information, right? So I'll just provide my bank information and my account number and then select next over as i said these are test information i'm not going to actually do a transfer right now but this is how you'd use zoom to send money once you select next it will give you a page for you to summarize and then you select confirm and transfer and that's literally it 
Now let's go to the my account section. Now on the my account section you have access to the quick send right so let's select the quick send. You select the country that you want to send money to. I'm going to say Jamaica again and this will ask you to select an existing contact so that's a benefit of the quick send right. So if I say send to existing contact then it will automatically allow me to choose a contact from my drop down list right. And then you specify the amount that you want to send. So I'm going to go back to account again. Now on the track last transaction, allow you to track transactions that you have sent and to see the status of it. Now typically when you're sending to bank account, it may take up to three business days, right? It some in some cases it may be done within a day, but typically if you're sending to bank account and it's especially if you're sending from a bank account, it may take up to three business days. But typically if you're using your car to pay. The money can be available within the business day depending on how early you send that money, right? So let's go back to my account. Now under the bank accounts, you will see a list of bank accounts that you have added. That is if you use them as payment method. Under the credit and debit card section, you will see a list of credit card and debit cards you added. And if PayPal asks you for documents, then you will upload it in the document section. So far, I've been investigating if it's possible to send money directly from your PayPal account through Zoom. That is not yet available. So that's for now, guys. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.